I'm earning my keep on boat. This is a very impromptu decision. Last minute, and suddenly it's like, okay, yeah, we're off. Let's go. I've put out videos before saying I'm a huge fan of cutters for reasons that I've discussed at length. But you know, I might be a, con a convert. I think I'm going to have to give up this YouTube malarkey and become a bank robber, ladies and gentlemen. What did you get? 11.4 12. Welcome to our self-inflicted adventure. What seems like a lifetime ago, we left Australia, intending to sail our way around the world. It's been a roller coaster since then, and while the plan has changed many times, we've been laughing our way through and learned a new lesson for every step of the way. And between us, the real adventure has only just begun. Last episode on Sailing Millennial Falcon. How quick can you get to Turkey? Hold that thought, I'll call you back. It smells like a library. Your owner is going to be so happy. If you're watching this, sorry. There's one question that Kiara and I get put all the time, and up to now have struggled very much to answer. Cyclone Mouse asked, I know you love Millie, and you, and you should, but if you had $10 million and had to choose a new boat, what would you pick and why? Well, after a great deal of searching, we've put together a very short list. And I'm pleased to announce that we've been invited to test sail one of our top candidates. Please let me introduce you to the Kraken. So, we are on the new boat. What's our new boat called? It's so Millennial cute. Falcon 2. Yes. We are planning to head off today for a bit of a sail. Um, it would be about a four day sail apparently, and they're just waiting for a brand new main sail to come in from the uh, sail maker who's just finishing sewing it up like right now. So they're waiting on that, and pretty much as soon as they've done, as soon as they've collected that, we can head off. You'll see some of the crew from Kraken popping up throughout the videos. So now's a good time to introduce them. I'm earning my keep on the boat. We're taking down the old mainsail now in preparation for the new one that's hopefully going to arrive. It's meant to arrive an hour and a half ago, so we'll see. <laughs> This is the Mamara Islands here. Oh, cool. Right. After a quick team meeting to figure out where we were going, it was time to cast off the dock lines and get out on the water. It's a bit windy, just uh, the wind was blowing us onto the dock, so it was a little stressful um, actually getting off, so we didn't really film that bit. But we are on the road now, we're on the water now, and off for a sail. It was a very impromptu decision, last minute. We didn't think that we would be leaving until tomorrow morning, so I was just kind of resting downstairs and suddenly it's like, okay, yeah, we're off, let's go.
Get to work already? Yep. Whoa. Bombed your head already? Five minutes we're underway, we've got a casualty. So, I've just come downstairs to see what... So, uh, the thing that we have on our boat is that we don't often go on other boats when they're underway. We go into plenty of other people's boats to have some drinks, to check it out, um, but not often while we're underway. So, it's really good to be on, another, on some other boat when it's sailing and motoring. It's a really good kind of comparison to ours to see where ours kind of sits. Um, I can definitely tell you straight off the bat, this is significantly quieter than ours. <laughs> And I know that a lot of people say that, you know, they can't go downstairs or they can't sleep when their engine's on. In this boat, you definitely could. Um, we've been on some boats where you can hear the generator in the background. It sounds a little bit like that. It just, it kind of sounds like a strong air conditioner is blowing in the background. But it's nothing that would make you not be able to sleep, for instance. In our boat, you would need earplugs and to go into the bow to be able to sleep when the engine is on. This is like significantly quieter. So the reason why we're motoring now, obviously we're on this boat to go for a sail, the reason why I'm motoring now is to just get around some headlands so that we'll pick up the wind after the headlands. So we won't have too much of this which is why I thought I'd take advantage of being downstairs seeing what the engine sounds like. Definitely, definitely could sleep here, definitely. In fact, I'm not even going to go into the bass. If you could sleep in the middle here, then you could easily sleep in the B bus. Um, I mean, that's cool, that's quiet, that's pretty awesome. Alright, back up to Adam when he's underway. Just check the sail shape, looks very nice. And the engine's off. <laughs> We're screaming already, all we have is a jib out, a Genoa rather. And I reckon we're doing five knots downwind with, with just effortlessly. <laughs> what are we doing? Six? Yeah, we're doing 7.9. 7 7.9 with one oh, sail. Drop, drop back, 7.6, 7 7.5. 21 knots, one sail. And I could just put my drink down and walk away. 7.5, like that. <laughs> that's insane. That's so cool. It's such a lovely time of day to go sailing. It's about probably about 5.30 now, but the sun is getting lower in the sky and it's like everything's just that little bit hazy. It's so it's really really nice. <laughs> all of the uh, all the filming that I'm doing, I'm like, wow, this is such a good day. It's every shot is like looking amazing. Ah, it's actually good to be going back out for a sail again. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but we haven't been out for a sail for a little while only because we uh, we popped back to England to see my family and the boat has been sitting in Ponta Delgada while we were um, pretty much checking out Ponta Delgada for a few weeks so we haven't gone sailing for a little while now it's really really nice to get back on the water so the wind noise might be a bit much for me to say what I want to say here but we'll try anyway Kiara's up the front with the fluffy ducky microphone saying lovely things I'm sure as well but this is just effortless. I mean, this is a big boat. This is like, like 30,000 pounds, 18 tons, and it feels light as a feather. 20 tons, 20 tons, there you go. And it feels light as a feather. Like we, turned, we were motoring along pretty conservatively, turned off the key, rolled out the Genoa, and you would not know, like if you didn't look up at the sail, you wouldn't know that we weren't still motoring. And that's both a commentary on how quiet the motor was and how easily she gets moving under sail. Oh, I think I'm gonna to have to give up this YouTube malarkey and become a bank robber, ladies and gentlemen.
right? Yeah. yeah okay. That's getting tighter. How's that feeling? So you can see it? That's pretty taut. Yeah, go. Oh, uh, we need more on that. Bend 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 yeah, yeah. Bend 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 That'll do. Okay, that should be all okay. Right, so let's just fall off now. Okay. See how we feel and how it looks. knots and we're doing nine we've got 20 knots just forward of the beam three quarters of a genoa out and uh, the first reef in the main and we're screaming along yeah give us some more so we're just coming a bit harder on the wind so we've rolled in the genoa and we're going to shake out the, jet, the blade jib and uh and just come hard on the breeze we've got about four miles to go Stop. And, uh, and we'll be uh, at our evening's destination. Just above us, there are no, like thousands fine. and thousands of cranes. Whoa. Just like all flying around. It's pretty awesome. I would say the sky is almost blacked out. It's not, but it's, there are a lot of cranes. I'll tell you when. Hey, look at all the cranes. <laughs> I've just been saying that. Oh, look at that. get that. Uh, Wild. I look wild. Okay, so you're pretty well here. It's quite noisy. Where here is, I'll put here because uh, I have no it's idea what place it's called. Um, oh, it's this just such an awesome sail. Such an awesome sail. But like, did we round out the day? Did we close out the scene? You know, well, can we live the miles? Well, so well we've you know, got uh, to run. Uh, we could say something like, oh, it's been a cracking first day. So, cracking, cracking first day. So I still think <laughs> and we're <laughs> Next morning, it's actually quite early. We woke up um, just after, actually just before sunrise. Today we're going for a little longer, a little more of a longer sail. Uh, yesterday we went for a sail for about two hours, just because we started late and we just went to a nearby anchorage. Um, today I think we'll be sailing for the whole day, which would be pretty cool. We'll get to see some, see what the boat can handle in like bigger waves. Um, because yesterday it was like perfect sailing conditions. It was just completely flat. When I say perfect, like it was gusty. It was ranging from like 17 to 25, whereas today I think it'll be, um, we'll kind of get out of some of the lee of the hills. And so we'll be able to get a little more of a consistent wind speed. It's probably about 20 knots and like 
one meter seas, which would be quite cool. Um, oh, drones up. So in case it's not evident already, all Krakens come standard with a Solon rig, which is a sort of a new thing for me. Uh, and if you don't know, a Solon rig is essentially two head sails, one large Genoa and one sort of blade cut jib on the inside. What we're doing now is called a butterfly wing and what happens is you're running downwind pretty well dead square and one sail fills and all the air bleeds out of that sail and into the next and so you end up with this essentially what is a symmetrical spinnaker. There's no pole up, I mean the seas are pretty calm but we have no pole. The engine's off and we're just ghosting along and all we had to do was unfurl two sails and run dead downwind and that's it. Um, and you know, I've, I've put out videos before saying I'm a huge fan of cutters for reasons that I've discussed at length. But you know, I might be a, con a convert. This is, you know, you can't argue with the versatility of this rig and, and we've just come from a massive Atlantic crossing where we spent two weeks straight griping about how we don't have any downwind gear. If we were in a solar, it'd be a very different story. Join us next week as we continue our adventure on the Kraken 50 around the Sea of Mamara. And if you liked that, please click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Oh, oh, oh. I am the fastest man alive! What do you get? 11.4! Oh, I've got 12! 12! 12. Oh.